there's a culture overlap we need to discuss. Why do gym bros and emo furry kids on 2012 DeviantArt who drew evil Pokemon and foxes with seen bangs listen to the exact same music? For example, Awaken Alive, Animal I Have Become, The Kill, Lights Out, I Will Not Bow, Seven Nation Army, American Idiot, You're Gonna Go Far Kid, and Never Too Late. Playlist I'm calling I Listen to This on a Team Rocket Pikachu XEV AMV during the formative years of my childhood, and now I'm listening to it during a bench press rep and getting the most insane whiplash of my life. The overlap is those guys who make DBZ AMVs where they just slap these songs on top of DBZ fight scenes. The same reason why dads and lesbians both tend to be found in hardware stores. Doctors are like, here is your appointment. If you are late, I will personally kill you. But when you show up on time, they're like, I am so, so sorry. There will be a thousand years delay. They should give every weird gay person with a niche media interest a billion dollars and a production company. You think that's bad? I had a student plagiarize my own fanfic for a creative writing assignment. That was not a fun conversation to have. I'm... I would simply quit my job. My mom had a student plagiarize her own research paper. Didn't change anything but her name. In class, she brought it up to show off as an excellent example. She then went on Google Scholar, looked up the title, and the first result was her paper. And she said, I know it's a great paper because I wrote it. No idea what happened to that guy. Fuck you, anti-bird architecture. Who gives a shit if a little guy makes a nest on top of your stupid Starbucks sign? They put anti-bird spikes on a church in my hometown, so the only place on the building where birds can sit is at the very top, on the cross. So the cross is now covered in bird <coughs> How does it feel to be Tumblr famous now? Thanks for the question, autistic <coughs> wad. I'm enjoying the popularity, colon three. OP will be hunted for sport if the asker ever changes their name. Oh, f <coughs> My housemate's food delivery came with a cup of soup that she didn't order with a label on the cup from a restaurant that has soup nowhere on the menu. I've been mentally debating for like an hour about whether or not I am going to eat it. Update, it's pretty tasty. You would not be able to resist cheese in a mouse trap. I will never forget when I worked in a fast food joint. Some customer wrote like 86 cherries on their mobile order as like a pretentious way of saying no cherries, but the store was run by a bunch of high schoolers who are working their first job, so they collectively went, why the fuck did this guy want 86 fucking cherries and like piled them onto his milkshake? So when I made this, I didn't expect any notes, so I feel like an asshole now for not explaining. So in case you check the notes, 86 in restaurant terms means unavailable or out of stock, but has kind of morphed into omit or leave out. But none of us had worked in a restaurant before. Also, why would you not just say no cherries? It's the same amount of characters to type. Man ordering food. I work in the restaurant business, wink. Children working at restaurant. This guy must really like cherries. Got something in your eye there, sir. My mouse is dying. I'm so sorry. Have you been to the vet at all? I'm afraid taking him somewhere will make it worse. Whenever he moves, he makes a depressed little cry that sounds a lot like the window's disconnecting noise. Oh, I'll go f*** myself then, I guess. Wait, I just realized that my mom gave me new stuff for my keyring the day after she complained that I kept accidentally sneaking up on her because I don't realize how quiet I am. My mother belled me like a cat and I didn't even realize. Haha, <laughs> cat boy. Everyone is so mean to me all the time. They say I can use the microwave to heat up leftovers anytime I want. Begging staff to let me get a look at how the f*** does Tumblr's algorithm work. Look at my post, boy. The reason Ratatouille is so good is because, like, it is about a rat learning to become a chef, but it's also not about that at all. It's about the elitism that keeps incredibly talented people out of artistic circles because of their origins. It's about how art is richer when we value input from people from all walks of life. It's about how to create is to bear your soul, and how exemplary talent often isn't enough to thrive in a world that's structured to keep you out. 
it is about how a great artist can come from anywhere, and god, I love this film so much. It's also just a rat learning to become a chef, which is also wonderful. Yeah! TBH, in some cases calling my projects whips, kind of feels like a joke because it implies that it's actually in progress rather than being a thing that plagues my brain every once in a while. Wilts works in long-term storage. Wemvtuf <laughs> works haunting me from under the floorboards. The telltale whip. Today I saw a cat who immediately and casually hissed at me on sight, but after I said, that's rude, he meowed politely. Just trying out some noises. 